so I have been sick. Love that for me. Love that for me so much. I had a throat infection and it was wonderful. Wonderful experience. And I know this is the season for sickness. So many of my friends and so many people I work with are sick right now or just have been. It's okay. It's bound to happen. I'm actually not so mad about it because I used to be sick so often and I haven't been this whole year. It's only my second time getting sick and the other time was COVID. So I'm not too mad about it, but obviously it messes up with my routine. With my fitness routine, I had such a good just work a routine going. I was going so much more consistently. And yes, that is also something I still struggle with consistency. It doesn't come easy for anybody. So obviously it's not fun to then get sick, especially when you are in a good routine, but we cannot dwell in the past. I'm trying to focus just ahead, thinking about what I can do and what I'm in control of. And you're just not in control of getting sick. So don't stress out about that. But I do want to share some tips and advice, some little life hacks that I've found when you do find yourself getting sick and when you do want to, you know, get back into a routine because I'm about to go to the gym right now and I'm obviously going to take you guys with me through this routine today. But most importantly, when you do find yourself getting sick or you do want to recover faster, make sure you drink a ton of water. You need to hydrate your body and your cells because you are probably going to sweat a lot. You want to sweat out all of that sickness out of your body. But for you to also sweat a lot, you have to make sure you hydrate yourself enough. So just hydrating yourself with a ton of water. I drink a lot of lemon water. I actually recently bought this from, where was it? I went to Marshalls in the city and I found this 32 ounce. There was even some that was up to 40 ounce, which I actually really wanted, but none of them had the little straw that you bent. Only the 32 ounce had that. I don't know about you, but I want to be able to close my water bottle, especially when I bring it to the gym, but drink a lot of water. And one thing I always recommend, even to all my clients, is if you do find yourself getting sick, drink a ton of this tea. This tea is like a miracle worker when you're feeling sick. I can't break down why this is so good. Obviously, there's a ton of herbs in here, but this tea is just fantastic. And it's actually the words of a mother that told me this because my mom have drilled into my brain that this tea is the best tea that is out there when you're sick. So I'm just spreading the message and it always seems to work. So recommend. But I'm about to go to the gym. I'm starting up my routine with a full body workout. And I say full body like this because I've been having a shoulder imbalance for quite a while. I've just been ignoring and it's like the worst thing you can do. And it's sort of gotten worse. It actually comes from not only did I have an imbalance, but I also was sleeping incorrectly. So I don't know how I was able to do this, but every night my favorite position to sleep in was like this. Like my arm was literally like, like I'm laying on this side and my arm is like this. So I'm sleeping on my shoulder like this, completely stretched out. And this is like extremely like tucked in. So I'm like really tight here now and I'm lacking a lot of space in my left scapula. So luckily, I'm so lucky that my hubby is just a fitness fanatic and he just knows his shit. So he has been helping me with a rehab routine that I'm currently doing. So that's what I'm doing for my upper body. And I'm also going to hit legs. Ideally, I would like to get on the bike today, but we'll see. We'll see about that. I actually want to show you guys my outfit today too, because I'm wearing full body weight day active wear. I want to show you guys my back, but I've been laying down sweating a lot. So I have a little bit of back knee, so don't judge me, but it's so cute. I can't really show it. But I just got this mermaid bra. It's so cute. And this is how it looks in the front. And obviously I'm wearing the Body by Day Bella leggings with it too. I just feel so proud that I have such cool friends that come out with stuff like this. So, so in case that you don't know, this is actually my friend Daisha's um, active wear that I'm wearing. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out because I just love the fit. And the t-shirt is just some random baggy t-shirt I found myself online. So I just washed my hair so it's really poofy. I want to put it up in a ponytail, but when you have like really long hair and it's also very thick, it's really hard to like put it up in a ponytail or do anything with it when it's still kind of damp. 
it gets in the way. But before going to the gym, I do want to show you guys this new supplement I have been using. So I am still very much liking drinking caffeine, but I have slowed down a whole lot for health reasons. Drinking a lot of caffeine, like a lot of days in a row, builds up a lot of toxin in your body. So I've really been liking this new Pure Gut. I didn't buy the actual container, I just bought some samples of it. They look like this. And as you can see, it doesn't really look like a regular pre-workout because it obviously have beets on it, which is very healthy. And usually energy drinks or anything caffeinated is often with these crazy flavors, which obviously tastes good. I like blue raspberry. I like all of that, but it's not always good for your health. So with that in mind, one of these servings actually do have a little bit more than 100 milligrams of caffeine in it, but it has concentrated beets in it. And if you don't know about beets, it's one of the most healthiest things you can eat. Uh, one of them is because of the red dye that beets have. I'm probably not gonna explain this properly, but what's in red dye and specifically like beets and pomegranate is something that's called nitrate. It basically helps with your blood vessels and your heart health and getting rid of toxins in your body. It obviously isn't the best being paired with caffeine because you're trying to get rid of the toxins while caffeine often traps toxins in your body. But they did actually come out with another supplement without the caffeine that just is purely off the benefits of beets. And it's called Heartbeats, which is kind of cute. But it's basically just cardiovascular superfood and it helps just, you know, better your blood flow, your blood circulation. But it also helps promote energy and just like natural performance. So it obviously have beets, it have pomegranate and red spinach, just a ton of good stuff that is really recommended for you. So if you don't want to just drive off caffeine for energy, and to get your ass up and in the gym, this might really help you. But me, on the other hand, is really addicted to caffeine. So I'm gonna have some of this. Isn't that just so red? And it's all thanks to the beets and no artificial food coloring. It's so good. It tastes like beets, but it's very sweet. So if you like beets, you're gonna love this one. And if you just, me, don't really care much about it, you'll still like it. But if you don't like beets, you're not gonna like it. <laughs> but it's very good. I'm gonna finish this and then we are going to the gym. And I'm very excited. So I just got to the gym and I'm feeling my pre-workout quite a bit, but that's a good thing. I am excited to, you know, get started with my workout. However, one of the most questions I get when it comes to being sick is that, should you still work out when you're sick? And obviously no. <laughs> So that's multiple reasons, but firstly, if you're working out when you're sick, you might just make it worse. You might just end up being sick for even more days or making yourself feel even worse because when you do work out, you break down basically your immune system. It's your immune system that helps you basically go through, you know, protein synthesis and get stronger. So if you go work out while also being sick, you'll definitely make it worse for yourself. And also number two, you will make everybody else sick in the gym too. So think about the next person too. It's not all about you. Take your rest days, take the time off. It's okay to lay down and rest when you're sick totally fine more than fine obviously it sucks we can't get around that but you have to rest when you're sick so take as much time as you need which also leads to the next question is when should you then be working out but that also really all depends on what you were sick with how you were feeling did you have a fever and all of that so you kind of have to make the judgment there yourself i always put my sickness on a diagram when i get sick 
it like it goes up and up and up and every day I might feel worse and a little bit worse but then all of a sudden it hits a roof where it's like you maxed out on your sickness right and then after that it'll start to get better little by little and it goes down and you get less and less sick and I feel like once you hit your max and it starts to go down anytime after that and you're already starting to see improvement that's when you can start considering going back to the gym. This is also where it's a good time to actually go do like anything that makes you sweat. So it could be some cardio or anything like that. But again, you have to be the judgment here. You have to make sure that you're feeling all right enough to go move your body. You have to be in that recovery period for quite a bit. So sort of how I'm feeling today, like yesterday I felt also you know pretty good but today i'm feeling you know pretty much back to normal but today is a really good day and even yesterday would have been a really good day for me to go and just like sweat a whole bunch now my routine today is going to look a little bit different but still very much the same so your comeback routine is just your regular routine but depending on how long you've been taking off for me it's been a little bit more than a week. I will just listen to my body a little bit more today. I'll make sure I have a little bit longer of a warm up. I will also probably not lift as heavy today as I last did. I will just, as I said, listen to my body more. And then ideally I would really like to end with some cardio, but we will see how I feel at the end of this workout. All I know is that this new Nicki Minaj album is going to bring me through today's workout. I don't know if you guys have listened to it yet, but it is pretty good. Pretty good. There's some good ones in there. So I'm gonna get out of this bathroom because somebody else might want to use it and um, get my warm-up started.
That was crazy. I don't know what possessed me to get on the bike and do 12 minutes at the end, but I did it. And I would lie if I didn't say I feel a little proud of myself right now because that wasn't easy. And honestly, right after I finished my squat sets, I was already ready to go home. I'm gonna be honest. I was ready to pack it up and go home, but I stuck it out. And yeah, I know this routine is not as replicable since I'm, you know, working on shoulder stuff, but it also comes to show that this is just my routine. This is what I do some days and there's really not a huge difference when it comes to getting back into your routine from being sick. It's really all about just listening to your body. You can do the exact same routine. Just listen to your body. Maybe you can't do as much weight that day and that's okay, completely fine. It will all come back really quick, especially if you achieved it already before. Your body has muscle memory. Thank goodness for <laughs> muscle memory. I'm feeling pretty pumped. This might be the worst. Lighting. Actually, it's not that bad. Okay, not mad about it. Just a little physique update. I always like to check out the pump. It's a little confidence booster. If you go to the gym and you work out, you are so allowed to check yourself out in the mirror. I'm just saying. There is no shame in that. I'm feeling nice and toasty right now. You never know when you live in an apartment if it's gonna be cold or hot since you're not like in control of the temperature, but it is nice and toasty. And I'm already overcooking on the inside because I went to the grocery store and I had to carry up my gym bag and my grocery bag all the way up the stairs to where I live. So there's always pros and cons to living in an apartment. I feel like my biggest con is just that I live pretty high up and in this building compared to the old building I used to live in, this one doesn't have an elevator. So imagine that after leg day in a 12 minute bike ride and carrying up groceries. That's truly how you stay in shape. <laughs> but the biggest pro is obviously the view. I wish I could show you guys, but I'm not interested in showing exactly where I live. <laughs> but I feel very fortunate to have a really nice view of the city, which is really cool. But I'm about to make dinner. I bought some more chicken breasts. I actually bought a lot of things. One of them being this Christmas. Febreze scent that you can spray and it smells like cinnamon apple, which is just the biggest Christmas smell. My camera died, but as I was saying, it doesn't get more Christmassy than that cinnamon apple, especially because my Christmas tree is fake. So it doesn't really smell like pine tree in here. Like, you know, that you will recognize as Christmas, but cinnamon apple though. So, you know, when I saw it, I had to get it. And then of course I got chicken breast and look at this deal on this Giga chicken breast. It is $3 and 16 cent. I feel like that's kind of a deal. I don't know how much the chicken is where you are, but I'm not mad at that. Currently, I feel like everything is so expensive, including groceries, since when have buying your own groceries and cooking your own food started to be so expensive, but it really has. So maybe I should make a video on meal prep on a budget or like what I eat in a day on a budget because I hate wasting money or spending an unnecessary amount. Don't get me wrong, I do treat myself, but I try to be budget friendly when it comes to at least food and stuff like that because I feel like everything is so expensive right now. So yeah, I'm gonna make for dinner chicken breasts, rice, and just vegetables. And then I think I'm gonna make my own little dressing with, um, I have some sour cream. I usually make my own dressing with sour cream. I'm gonna show you. So what I do is that I buy this sour cream right here, the light daisy one. If you care about calories, it has 35 calories per two tablespoons, which is not really that much. And then I simply just add a little bit of water just so it's not as thick. And then I add seasoning. So you just add whatever seasoning that you like. It could literally be anything, uh, but what I usually use to add, and it makes for the best dressing in my opinion for like your greens, spiskommen, spiskommen. By the way, I'm saying this in Danish because I actually don't know how to translate spiskommen, but I'll probably pop it up here on the screen somewhere because I'm gonna translate it when I'm editing this video. So I add some of this as well as complete seasoning with like a bunch of herbs like garlic and lemon and pepper and other things. And I just add those two to some sour cream with some water and it actually turns out to be the best dressing. Uh, so that's what I eat it with. And sometimes I dip 
a little bit of chicken breast in there too. But that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little gym vlog. <laughs> Even though it was not like my full day, but most of my day. I spent a lot more time in the gym than I expected. And I think it's because when I film, it just takes longer. And that's okay. It's completely fine with me. I don't mind spending time in the gym. But it took up most of my day and it also gets dark really quick. I hate it so much. I don't like going outside when it's dark. So it basically cuts my day so much shorter, but I'm gonna make something to eat and I'm gonna start editing this video cause I wanna get it out quickly. So that's the rest of my day. I do wanna say before we go, if you're looking for more guidance when it comes to your fitness journey, if you're a little bit lost with what to do, you need more accountability, I got you girl. I still have spots open for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. So I'll be linking that down in the description where you can book your free consultation call. And I'll be looking forward to speaking with you. We are close to the new year and what better day to start than now. Get a head start already on your fitness journey. It just couldn't be a better time than now. So yeah, click the link down below if you're interested in that. Uh, and I'm gonna get out of here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna watch more videos like this one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.